continuing to field questions for Yosemilia. I have a student who's asking from within our Telegram group, says she's failed an NBME during the final month, wants to know if she needs to postpone her TCK. I know many of you are studying for step one. I'll discuss both. Relax. Uh, but that's the question here, all right? Should you postpone if you've taken a fail on an NBME in the final month? I've made prior clips on this under the exam guidance playlist here on the YouTube, but do I have any refinements, any updated points, okay, on this uh, topic? which I can give you a very solid answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So if you've taken a fail in the final month, should you postpone your exam? That's the question, right? And the answer is yes. Uh, when I have a student who's failed an online NBM in the final month, I postpone an entire month. Okay, and this is a lengthy discussion. It's not gonna be the same for every student. It's just that over a decade of tutoring, I developed a strong uh, conservatism with regard to being tolerant of a student sitting if he or she's taken a fail in the final month because I've seen the data points. It's not a good fucking idea, okay? It's if we think about which situation is shittier, that is you take a fail on the real USMLE, steps one or two, or you have to be inconvenienced, whether it comes to a rotation that you have to postpone, whether it comes to uh, the application for the match, okay? There's various situations where you say, no, fuck you, I want to sit, and I understand that. But which situation is shittier? It's worse to take a fail in the real US family. Now, look, if you're watching this clip and you've already failed the exam, don't worry, all right? I've made prior clips discussing this as well. Will you still match? You can search for that. The answer is yes, you can still match. Just d don't worry too much. I'm just speaking in broad terms that if we have to think about which situation is worse, I don't want you taking a fail if we can avoid that. So if you've had a fail on an NBME in the final month, I recommend postponing a whole month. And then what do we do? It's gonna be a combination of, have you gone through my high yield arrows PDF sufficiently? For steps one, generally, sometimes for step two, if the, st if the student's foundation is very weak, will we look at you world incorrects? That's a possibility. Are we going to go back and really have you hammer NBMEs 20 through 30? Okay, even if you've taken a fail, we're going to look at NBMEs 20 through 24, the offline forms especially. Okay, as I said, in combination with you world incorrects generally and my PDFs, we can come up with a schedule. So that's what I want you doing if you've taken a fail in the final month. I don't want you sitting. Once again, some of you will take fails in the final month. You'll decide to sit your exam and you'll pass. I'm just talking about from a tutoring perspective, okay? My responsibility is to make sure you fucking pass. Most of my students are just praying to pass. I play the route of conservatism, conservatism. And I say, I want you postponing a whole month, okay? It's karmic. Uh, you put in that extra work. It might be annoying, but... Not only is that going to augment the probability significantly of you passing the exam, but it's going to help you on step two as well. If you're studying for step one or now, that extra study is going to help you when you get to step two. And if you're studying for step two, it'll help you when you get to step three. All right. So look, it's a lengthy discussion. It's never the same for every student. Okay. It's never cookie cutter, but the consolidated point is correct. I do not want you sitting the real deal. Uh, I want you postponing a month if you've taken a fail on an online NBME in the final month. You know the deal, I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.